Hey, welcome once again to Iron Mag Labs presents Greg and Joe TV on the Muscle Sport TV network. It just sounds so important when you just stretch it with all of those descriptive things, Greg, doesn't it? Absolutely, Joe. I just want to... <laughs> wait. Oh, okay. I was going to steal what was ever in there, but it's empty. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> We have an action-packed program waiting for you guys. All fucking buddy and new Muscle Sport Mag columnist, Jason Genova, is going to be joining us via Skype from sunny Florida, his home state where he lives now. Florida. Everybody's moving to fucking Florida, yeah, Everybody's bro. moving to fucking Florida. All us New York guineas are fucking down here, right? All the fucking guineas are down in fucking Florida. Actually, didn't Jason say that? Like, Jason's he, California. He's originally, no, but wasn't he... A, he has family. That originally, they were from New York. He did have some family. His father, in New York. some was from Brooklyn, yeah. right? But he uh, he lived in California and moved to Florida when he was a kid. Oh, okay. So he's always gone from fucking warm to warm, and we're still up here freezing our fucking balls off. We're dumb guinea bastards. That's Stupid why. fucks, bro. We're dumb guineas. You could move to Florida and even fucking sit in a fucking throne like a king. It's so beautiful down there. Sits on a throne in Florida. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no comment. Uh, I sit on a fucking toilet up here in New York. Now lately, uh, more than you used to. After drinking this shit all the time, driving uh, Joe crazy. Uh, you know, yuck. I don't know. Tell you, I get Ajit all the time. You got Ajit. I get Ajit since I was watching YouTube. I get Ajit from watching <laughs> Colleen. She's going back and forth. She's we're driving her crazy. I think. <laughs> Colleen's right there. You got you guys can't see her. She looks like Lindsay Lohan. Colleen's the one. She that... actually hates that. See, she's shaking her head. She's pissed. She texts her boyfriend now. They're saying I look like Lindsay Lohan. And he's saying good. That's fine. Right. That's fine. Colleen's the one that puts all of this fucking crazy shit together, and she has to make something exciting out of it. Yes, she does. So she's a magician. Yes, she does. Jeez. And w w hey, the guys are watching us right now. On uh, we're actually doing also a, a live. What do, you, what do you call that shit? Instagram. Instagram. Live. So Instagram. hi guys. I don't know. Hey, guys, they're over there. Hi guys. <laughs> anyway, but um, Joe, I just got news today. I'm, I'm uh, Generation Iron Two. I made the cut. Not only did I make the cut, but they told me my my uh, they wanted to do more filming with me because I I kind of kicked ass a little bit. I think I'm going to piss a few people off because I talk mad shit, man. Boom. I, th I thought they were going to cut it because I went mad fucking shit on but there. But that's... You don't bring Greg Valentino onto fucking the set to have him give compliments. <laughs> the fuck, man? Well, we're starting to do Generation Iron 3, my season 3, and we're going to kick fucking ass, bro. You have no idea. That's going to fucking knock your socks off. They're actually getting a soundstage in New York City, downtown Manhattan. We film it right now in, a, in an affiliate of NBC, but we're going to we're going to a big soundstage. I'm going to do it. So you should come with me, man. I would love to come with you. You should. I it's would really love cool, to, man. love to speak to Craig and... And, and Vlad yeah. and Vinny and the boys down there. I mean, it's it's the, the, the Generation Iron. Listen, if when you're talking about in the bodybuilding bodybuilding industry, right? Video, Generation Iron is it? Yeah, they're the, listen, dude. I'm, I'm not, and just because we're doing a video now, I, you know, listen, Generation Iron is the fucking top talk, bro. Dude, definitely. <laughs> I mean, not, not for nothing, but. You know, they've they've made a huge splash. Uh, Generation Iron Two, because I'm in it, motherfuckers, is gonna fucking kick ass. Uh, it no, looks you know, very like, interesting. I'm just yeah. in there ranting, guys. So like, you know, but uh, you know, I'm gonna, I might even have a talk show on there. We got, we got, we're doing a lot. You have no idea. Uh, you know, so but Muscle Sport Mag, I'm, you know, this is our gig. You know what I'm saying? So. It's, you know, we're, we're the real deal here at Muscle Sport Mag, so don't fuck around. You know what I mean? We're not like uh, some sinking ship magazines. <laughs> we're fucking going up while everybody else is going down. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of going down, my girlfriend's probably out there fucking texting all the fucking... Driving me crazy today. How was that for a spin on uh, She loves shit? you. I know she loves me, but... Uh, you know, I bring her to the Generation Iron fucking thing. They all love her. They're giving her free shirts and all kinds of shit. I'm like, when do I get free shit? These things are fucking empty, or I would steal what's in here. <laughs> I gave you some free shit before. They're just props. <laughs> no, dude, let me tell you something. That's why. You know why? Because it's so good. Iron Mag. Dude, if, 
Dude, DiMaggio's a fucking genius, too. DiMaggio that guy's a fucking, fucking smart guy. He's got some great fucking products. Dude, and he, yeah, these are good products. Dude, let me tell you something. Joe's lucky, because if there were fucking shit in here, I'd steal it. And I wouldn't have him as props. Right. Rob knows. Usually hey. the only kind of prop I like is test prop. Well, it's really prop. I call it test prop. Everybody else prop. calls it prop. I say prop. You I do. You I do mispronounce it. Yeah, I've always called you do, it. That. You do mispronounce that shit. Yes, all the time. You're like my father. It looks you, like. You you mispronounce names a lot, too. My father used to do the same thing. Hey, that guy, uh, you, your friend here, uh, Arnold Swackhammer, <laughs> he's on TV. And I'd say, Arnold Swackhammer. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck kind of name? Swack. Swear to God, that's what he called him. A Swackhammer. He gets everybody. Joe does the same thing. Hey, speaking of props, yeah. we're gonna have, we got a fucking, a fucking funny one on store. We'll be right back after this quick break, guys. Get the fucking ass back here. Greg, Goliath Labs has been a sponsor of Muscle Sport Magazine since 2008. Basically since yes, the they have. site first came on board. I want to talk about their products here. Isolate Protein, 24 grams of protein in this per scoop. Right Unbelievable. Monster Shred pre-workout, Deep Cell Matrix, NO2, NO Monster, Stimuloid. Extreme Suck Stimulant. Wait, stimuloid. Okay, let's talk about some of these first. Is that stimuloid? What the fuck's that? That's ejaculoid. Ejaculoid. My personal favorite, actually. And Bart is knows it, that right, I've now, loved the, it for years. Is this the blue capsules? Yes. That's the one. Uh, I oh. Guess. I got to tell you something. It works uh, really, really good. But it works almost too good. <laughs> it works. Bro, it you know what? Fuck me up, man. Take only one. You don't need to take one. No, and, and Should, it's... That, that means it works. Oh, it works fucking amazing. Tribuloid, Test Booster, Growloid, Humaloid, Herbrex, Sex Enhancer. For men and women, get this for the missus. A perfect stocking stuffer. Go to GoliathLabs.com right now. Hi, this is Lee Priest, and you're watching Greg and Joe on Muscle Sport TV. And welcome back to Iron Mag Labs presents Greg and Joe TV on Muscle Sport TV Network. And Greg, what the fuck is that? This is what we do with Greg and Joe TV. We don't fucking sit there and script shit out, okay? We certainly Greg don't. has not a fucking clue, and there is that is not a line of baloney either. Greg, I didn't want to tell you, yes. but... Muscle Sport Mag, uh huh. Uh, muscle Sport Media, which Media. is MuscleSportMedia.net, same thing as MuscleSportMag.com. We are, I, I've seen a lot of people out in the bodybuilding industry mm -hmm. are getting in on like all these different like apparel and, and I want to build our store up. And I noticed that um, there are people that are selling different types of bottles and things like that that you could use at the gym like water bottles and if you will. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do something like that. Right. So I took these two sizes that are going to be available shortly. They're in production right now. These are the prototypes, correct? So you can you can have a milk carton? Yeah. Well, there's people with water jugs and stuff that are basically, you know, empty milk cartons uh -huh. to me, kind of right. All right. So basically, this is the like I said, the prototype label if you will. MSM, Muscle Sport Media, Muscle Sport Mag, whatever you want. And I needed to come up with some kind of some kind of saying or something. So I said 100%. It's a lot bigger number than competitors. But 100% profit. Mm -hmm. Because what does it cost for me to make this fucking thing, Greg? I, I don't, dude, you got me stumped so far. I'm still trying to figure <laughs> this shit out. I think the guys on Instagram are trying to figure it this out, too. It comes in two sizes. The half gallon... Go and on. then this like little handy dandy size, you can put this like in your fucking backpack and shit like that. But but basically, you know, I mean, like, like I said, I see guys fucking selling like 
things that you can find around the house, like fucking, you know, fucking dustpans, and you can put a label on it, and fucking people will buy it. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to fucking catch lightning in the fucking bottle, Greg. So I am going to be selling on the MuscleSportMag.com store two sizes for your gym bottle. You can make your pre-workout in them. You're a big guy with the pre-workouts. You put it in your water. Now you can have your own official mm -hmm. half gallon, 100% profit Muscle Sport Magazine. Dude, for one of the first times in my life, I'm fucking I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Now, do you think anybody out there is going to buy this? Because according to my research, these things that are out there... They're this, big fucking sellers. I mean, people will fucking buy something as long as it has a fucking label on it that they like. So if they like muscle So in other words, magazine, like if you were selling bullshit like Redcon 1 or something like that and trying to make believe it's different from everything else, is that what you're fucking trying to tell me? No, not at all. This, this, this is not supplements. This is empties. People that sell empty bottles. That was, that was a little dig. I actually like Aaron Singerman, but that was a little dig at muscles, muscular development because they keep sending me fucking email. Now, listen, guys. Empty if you, bottles. Listen, I want to just I want to just say, listen, if you guys out there watching, you guys on Instagram, you guys too, okay, because Instagram's right there. I just want to say, can somebody please send Joe a fucking <laughs> joke book? Please. Because <laughs> I'm not sure what the fuck this is. Holy Christ. What do you guys think? What the fuck is this? You want to buy a... I don't know what the hell this is. I'm not sure what I'm going to charge for them yet. Maybe six bucks and four bucks. I Plus shipping. I don't, you know, you got to pay so for shipping. Wait, I'm not going to lose any money so on I can, this deal. I, I want 100% profit. I can, Hence. So you tell me I can fucking buy. You can buy this. Uh, I'll, I'll even give you a one. A milk carton, fucking empty milk carton for four bucks? Well, no, because it has the Muscle Sport Mag label on it. You're basically paying for the 100% label. Wow. Joe? You need a sh few shots of test probe, maybe a little trend. You know what? If you put enough of that in here, it'll be even better than if you put water or fucking some kind of pre-workout. But I, I see personally, I like the smaller bottle because I think it's it's easier to fucking carry in the gym and shit like that. This is a little bigger. You know, people walk around with these gallons and shit. So I, 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 I like to make it more convenient. So I got a half gallon, and then I don't know what is a sixteen ounce, twenty I ounce. I usually like big jugs. I like big jugs, but when it comes to fucking uh -huh. things that you put empty containers, you put labels on and sell them on your store page, I like to go a little smaller because I think more people are apt to purchase something that's more easy to hold in their hand. Gallons right. are tough, man. You got to handle and shit. Listen, I just want to say one thing. Next time you want to do funny gigs, talk to me. <laughs> I think this is... <laughs> I actually sat here in the office yesterday and I made these fucking labels and I put tape on them. But look, see, I, I left the fucking <laughs> the uh, nutritional label because you got to make sure you know what's in your fucking shit. But I just think it's a thing. Listen, like I said, I'm not hinging the fucking, I, I didn't fucking sec take a second mortgage out because this cost me nothing. Like a lot of these guys, what the thing is, your production cost is zero. It's all fucking pure profit, 100%. Yeah. You don't think so? I think this went over like a Led Zeppelin. Led Balloon. Led Zeppelin. Remember that's how the fucking... Remember that's how... Who? Keith Moon said Keith it's going to go over like go a Led, Led Balloon. Zeppelin. It's not like a Led Balloon. I thought they said Led Zeppelin. And they changed it to Led Zeppelin because oh, okay. they used the gag. They were the new Yardbirds originally. Right. The Yard that I knew. Jimmy Page was a studio musician with the Yardbirds. Now we're going into fucking rock and roll history go. lessons. How dare this we leave a fucking bit, empty milk carton? This bit, Greg is hating it so much, he actually <laughs> went into a fucking PBS fucking history lesson. The song remains the same. All right, I guess Greg doesn't Brando. like my fucking bit. So we're going to say uh, we'll be back after this quick I want to see they like his bit. <laughs> Muscle Sports TV. And welcome back to Our Mag Labs presents Greg and Joe TV. We are being joined right now by our fucking paisan, good buddy, J 
Jason Genova, what's up, Sith Lord? Yeah, I'm doing good down here in Florida. It's, it's starting to heat, heat up. It's starting to get hot. Summer's starting to come up. It's getting real humid here. It's getting fucking hot. I'm riding my bicycle everywhere. I'm getting ready for the Ruby in about um, four months. I'm four months from the Ruby. I've been doing a lot of bicycle riding, like a, like 60 to 70 miles a week every week to 100 miles a week of bike riding. I'm sweating my ass off. I'm actually very, very humble. I'm very happy that my grateful that my mom is helping me, uh, you know, letting me pay for her car. She's letting me pay it down. I'm getting to get her car, a 2006-7 TL Acura, and I'm going to be happy to drive that. That a boy. Good for you, man. That's cool. So what else is going on with the uh, with the, the piss lord? These days, well, I'm, being, I'm being more humble to my fans now. The reason why my fans were angry with me, I found out the reason why. They don't like when I flashed off too much and did a lot of crazy stuff I've done in the past would piss them off. So I'm trying to re redirect myself by explaining that I will communicate with my fans more and I will talk to them on a day basis. I'll make more time for them. I was just a little, uh, had a lot of problems in the past, so. Now I'm gonna act more humble, and I'm gonna act me. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go back from the old roots, the old Jason Genova from 2009 to 2013, what people wrote. That era, that four-year saga. So I'm bringing back the old mess. I just uh, had to start different, go back to my old roots. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, I what you're doing out there is you're entertaining people. So I don't know. I don't think people took it the wrong way, bro. You think they did? I'm angry because I was flaunting stuff, and I shouldn't be flaunting stuff on social media. I think it could piss anybody off, you know? I flaunt my nose all the time, bro. I can't help it, though. <laughs> the one thing they didn't like was my lying and my uh, scamming shit. They don't like that. So oh, I'm trying to wreck right. myself. That shit. What lying is scamming? What were you uh what were you lying about? I mean I you fucking I was lying that I'm a rich baller and I'm this and I'm that. I got fucking hundreds and millions of dollars and all that shit and they were getting angry. I think people gotta take things tongue in cheek sometimes and not fucking always, you know, take things literally. Well, you know, don't you think? Well, take it literally, so I have to be more humble now. I can't be doing that shit anymore. I can't I because I'm gonna get people that really pissed. Or you might get them breaking into your house thinking you have a lot of money there. <laughs> I, mean, <that's laughs> I, gotta, I gotta be more humble. I'm thinking about doing a raffle thing in the next couple of months before my show. Whoever wins the raffle, I mean, if I have the money, I would like to do it if it's great. But whoever wins the raffle in the next four months, you know, one person I'll, you know, do a raffle of Instagram names. I'll do like a pot of Instagram names, like 30 people who are going to be in my contest. Whoever uh, gets the most ripped or something or whatever or gets the most shredded or in good contest shape wins to come and see me compete in freaking um, the Rubian on the 23rd. That's September, right? You got the... Yeah, yeah, that's September. So one person gets to live with me, stay with me, work out with me, eat, train, sleep, and come to the competition. It's not a bad fucking prize, bro. Hopefully a girl wins. Maybe you'll hook up, too. Yeah, if it's a girl, that'd be great, but I'm not, not going to be picky. If it's a guy, it's fine, but if, whoever wins, wins, you know? I hear you. I would be pickier, but that's okay. You're a single, successful young man, man. You should enjoy some young ladies' company, bro. Yeah, but, you, uh, you know, it's just like, you know, I got to be more humble with my fans, and that's what I'm doing. I'm very grateful you put me in the magazine. I can't wait to see the magazine, what it looks like, to read the article I'm in, um, you know. It's going to be interesting to see me yourself in a magazine. I haven't been, I've been in one magazine. It was, it was a little magazine in Palm Beach, Florida. Well, I think it's going to be hard for you to be humble after you see this fucking uh, column with you in it. Because if I may say so myself, you knocked it out of the fucking park, Jason. It's a good, I've seen it. It's a good yeah. layout, Jason. And you look good in it. It's really nice. It came out great. I'm excited. And I can't wait to see it, but I still want to be humble to my fans. I'm going to say, listen, thank you to all my fans for getting me in the ma this magazine. You know, I just want to be humble in my heart. My fans, I don't want them turning against me, so I got to respect what they're telling me. They're telling me they don't want me doing that shit anymore. Yep, that's cool. I hear you. Listen, like you said, sometimes you listen to the people out there that follow you and they and they write certain comments and you have to sometimes I, understand that. They're telling me not to do that, but they love me. I love my fans and I'm going to act more. From now on when I work out, I'm going to act more humble, more funny. I'm going to act me, original JG, 
not cocky, not not flashy, not bowling status, not money status. And I do apologize to my fans, whatever I've done in the past. I, you know, I've done some stupid shit with pisses them off, and they get, you know, it makes them want to, you know, get angry. But I, I'm really apologizing. I'm sorry for doing all the shit I did, the bowling, the lying, all that shit. I, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry for doing all the shit. And I had a one problem where I had a scam with a t-shirt company a, a couple years, like a year and a half, two years ago with this guy named Austin. Um, it was a big fuck up. But I apologize. I learned from my mistakes. I don't use young kids. I have my, I have Andrew and Brad running my clothing line now. Everything's yeah. cool. Hey, how are the uh, misfits doing? You mentioned Andrew and Brad. How are the, all yeah, the guys doing? I did a Lenny video with them. You saw that one video with all of them. Lenny, Dale, and, sure. and Brad. I, f I subscribe to their channel. I love it, man. I subscribe to yours and the Delray Misfits YouTube channel. I fucking, I love every show. Yeah, um, I uh, got a new computer recently, so I'm editing my videos. I got a really good deal on a computer. It was like 500 and I got it for like 300 It's a really good buy. A nice 6-gig Hewlett-Packard was really nice. And uh, I got a new iPhone 7, so I'll be editing all my a lot of editing on both of them. And I'm going to pretty soon get a new camera when I have the money, you know, soon. And I have a manager helping me with my social media, thanks to her. She's helping me with my social media now. Good, man. That's you, a good thing. So you got a lot of good things going. I really got to tell you, man, your article, very inspirational. You were very open and honest. It's very touching. And I, I know people are going to say, what the fuck is he talking about? But when they read your article in the spring issue, they'll know exactly what I mean. And I thought the stuff that you came out and said, Jason, was I was honored that you were that open and honest to put it out there to the guys that read my magazine. So I want to thank you for that. I thought it was a very nice article. What you wrote was really, I mean, like I said, it was very cool and I felt really good reading it. And it was a lot of fun to uh, put that article together and send the pictures to the uh, graphic artist and have him lay it out. Yeah, I mean, I'm going back. To, I can't wait to go back to L.A. L.A. is a great place. I mean, for me, in my type of lifestyle, I like wild. I like to have fun. I don't like to be bored. I'm a very active young person. I'm only 32 years old, so I like to stay, live there at least 10 years of my life. And, you know, I like to live in L.A. for like six months when it's hot down here because from June to July all the way up to September, it's fucking brutal down here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I would like to live there, and then I would like to live here in the winter when it's cool so I don't have burn up, you know? I hear you, bro. Hey, you got a lot of good things going on, but we are uh, we got to take a break now, so we're out of time. Jay, thanks so much for joining Greg and myself today, and we will speak to you real shortly, man. All right. Jason, thanks a lot, brother. Have a good day, bro. It means the world. All right, bye. You rock, bro. It's Jason thanks. Genova. Keep your chin up. And All we'll right, be bye. right back after this quick break. It's Jay Cutler, four-time Mr. Olympia here. I want to send a big thank you to yourself and your company, Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition, for the support of Cutler Nutrition. What's up, everyone? This is Rich Piano. I just want to let you guys know you can get all my supplements at Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. At Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. I will see you there. God damn it. Pumped Up Fitness Nutrition. The Hulk will be rock, 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 you. The store is freaking awesome, man. Pumped up. Fitness and nutrition. God damn it. Come here, get all your 5% needs. You know, everything's fully in stock at all times here. It's 100% in stock. This store is fucking awesome. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Or else. Or else. and you're watching Greg and Joe on Muscle Sport TV. And welcome back. That was a quick break. That was a quickie. I love quickies. <laughs> <laughs> Joe has a one-track mind. No, I'm serious. So, Greg, a lot of rumblings in the bodybuilding industry, the comebacks. Last year was LeVron. This year is Flex Wheeler. I just talked about that yesterday with Generation R. 
See, that's a hard fucking thing for me to talk about because I'm friends with Flex Wheeler, you know what I mean? And I, I, I like him, okay? He's, he's, I get along really well with him, and I wish him the best. But I think but, he's, but I think he's <laughs> crazy because the, re- the reason why I say that, and it's nothing at Flex, if you're listening, simmer down. You know, I'm not throwing shade at you. But the thing is, he has absolutely this to me it's a no win situation Mm -hmm. you cannot win because even if he wins all right which is going to be really hard for him to do all right but even if he wins you know what people are going to say oh he won he won uh uh classic classic physique you know he's a bodybuilder and now he's dipping down that low into classic physique that's if he wins if he loses which is a good chance because these guys today are fucking grainy, hard, separated, ripped. It's not like back then. And he, you know, you're dealing with a guy with one kidney, so he can only do so much. All right? So if he loses, you go to, you're going to look like Mike Tyson at the end of his career when he was losing the bums. Guys, he would have knocked the fuck out in his prime. You know what I mean? Like barroom brawlers were hitting him and knocking him down and shit like that because he couldn't fight no more. That's what you're going to look like. It's a, it's better off being that mystique, the guy who should have been Mr. Olympia, the guy with the most incredible physique. So if you go, and, and it, to me, unless you go bodybuilding and you win, you have everything to lose and nothing to gain. I don't see what you gain out of that. I don't see what, you know, especially guys, you're in your fucking 50s. I'm, dude, I'm 57. I don't look it, do I? I don't look it, do I? <laughs> Saying to the guys on the Instagram, the Instagram guys are right there, so I'm just. Yeah, but the problem is, don't worry about it. The problem is, okay, guys, this is the problem. When you're in your 50, you look like fucking. Remember George Foreman is still fighting and they're trying to come back and also. You, you got to know when to say when and, and keep yourself as a legend because otherwise that's like Derek Jeter playing in a men's softball league and like kind of striking out and shit, you know, between the firemen and the cops, you know, one of them softball leagues. <laughs> Dude, you lose all your mystique then. You know what I mean? You're better off being, if, if Flex, if you're listening to me, I love you, bro. No disrespect. I hope you win. I'm rooting for you. But you're better off being that fucking guy that everybody said, oh, man, his physique was incredible. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? You're better off being that guy instead of being the guy who either lost in fucking physique or won, like, which is not even in a bodybuilding. You know, they're not even in the same fucking category as bodybuilding. You know that now. Come on. Am I right or wrong? I... I, I, I couldn't agree anymore. I totally agree with what you're saying. I think, obviously, we know the reason why he's coming back with classic physique because of his age and his health issues. Right. So that means he won't have to use as much shit. I and mean, listen, let's, you know, that's the... But still, these guys are too... Not, do you see what some of these not, classic physique guys they, look they're like? They're fucking shredded. They're fucking deep separation, yeah. shredded, they look, grainy hard. I for that category, they, they look good. But to me, to come back at this stage of his life... It's, the health is the whole thing. But I think he's being like, he's mad at Palumbo. Is he? He won't talk to Palumbo because he, really? he said stuff about him. That uh, I didn't know. Well, they were saying when you guys were on fucking RX, you in Boston, you guys were goofing around and he didn't stop it. Like, like Oh, he saw that? Oh, my God. Yeah, but I was, Please, you know, I was saying about the one kidney. Fucking Look, I, I'm only looking out, dude. One kidney. I mean, I wouldn't, for me, I wouldn't do it. If it was me, I wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, Flex did a comment but you have nothing- on one of my Muscle Sport Minute videos when I said he's pretty much what you said just now that he's crazy for coming back classic physique it's fucking useless to me as it is he's coming back no matter how he does who cares and he's old right just like I am (laughs) it's like we all are right he's uh, he's over that 40 something mark he's got issues with that and he actually fucking put a comment which he later deleted on my video I had on Muscle Sport TV YouTube channel which you should go subscribe to if you're not already (laughs) free and he said opinions are like assholes everybody has one and they all stink and he put the little shit mark on it and then a couple days later it was deleted i'm like come on bro yeah i know you can you can say whatever you want but i'm in the media just like dave palumbo's in the media and dave palumbo gave his opinion about certain things 
and Dave Palumbo you had know, you guys on the show, and to have Boston Lloyd and Greg Valentino on the fucking show, you're not expect you're, you're expecting it to be an entertaining thing. But I'm sick of these guys all having thin skin. Oh, Even that fucking Christ. big what was that big Momo's name? Uh, that guy, the fucking Dallas McCarr. Dude, yeah. I, I'm sure he's a nice kid. He was all he pissed like, that fucking. But dude, you're gonna Sean. be pissed because you were out of shape. You let your gut out, and somebody said to him, "Dude, you gotta fucking stand up, <laughs> man up, guys. Fuck a man up. Yeah, this sport, everybody's jacked." In this sport, but nobody wants to fucking nobody wants to step up and fucking tell the truth. You got Dennis Wolf saying, "I don't take steroids. That's illegal." You know what I mean? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro! I was backstage and saw that motherfucker with shredded abs, with grainy hard fucking veins coming up his abs. He turned around, he had fat on his lower back. Helios, I mean, come on, bro. You know what I mean? Give me, I don't know if I said that right. Heliax, Helios, you know, the local injection, you know what I'm talking about? What I'm saying is, come on, guys. <laughs> Give me a break. All you guys are fucking, these guys are so, everybody's so temperamental. Dude, what's it, like the movie Hush Hush Sweet Harlot? Uh, Sweet Harlot, I said. <laughs> Sweet Charlotte, whatever. You know, the old movie star that's watching film clips of herself when she was 20 and yeah. shit, and she's sitting, but now she's an old lady, and she's still sitting there wearing the same outfit she wore when she was 21. Talking. And, Room. You know, I mean, these yeah. guys are like, you know, I think I'm going to come back. You know what I'm saying? I mean, is Lee Haney going to come back? He's my fucking age, 57. You know what I mean? Uh, give me a fucking break. Maybe Arnold's going to come back, you know? Maybe he will. We'll see you at the end of, the end of this break. Maybe oh, we'll find some out between now bro. and then. <laughs> give me a break. Everybody is so fucking thin skinned. <laughs> This is Jerry Ward from Biowest Retraining and Primeval Labs. And this is the Greg and Joe Muscle Sport TV Show Bicep, and we're out. And that's going to do it for us this episode on Iron Mag Labs presents Greg and Joe TV on the Muscle Sport TV Network. Want to thank once again our buddy Jason Genova for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to Muscle Sport Mag. Go to MuscleSportMag.com slash subscribe. 32 bucks a year, free shipping in the United States. You will see Jason in our latest issue, Spring, with C.T. Fletcher on the cover, bro. That's my boy. Fucking C.T. Fletcher. We Dude. had him on last month on these shows. That's my boy. And we're going to have him on again. I, I love to talk to him. We want to book him again to promote his cover once that is out. I love him. But that Good is going to do it for us. For Greg Valentino, this is Joe Piatara. We'll see you guys next episode. Stop fucking around. Thank you.